going to give you a tour of sailing vessel Quantum Dink, which is a 51 foot Beneteau and it sleeps 10. It is a sloop with a Bermuda rig. So welcome aboard. Let's check it out. Hey guys, this is the salon. Um, the table's got this real cool storage for holding your spirits and wine bottles. The table's fairly big with lots of seating all the way around. There's lots of storage in the cabinets behind. Under all the seats, there's also additional storage and behind. Um, there's nice mirrors on the walls, it makes it look real spacious. There's an island that separates the salon from the galley, and inside of it is a 90 horsepower Perkins that has access on the sides and underneath. And you can actually pop open this whole thing, and it just slides off to the side, and you can have a fully exposed 90 horsepower Perkins to work on with lots of space. There's four 250 liter water tanks that uh, are under the floorboards as well. And the ones that aren't used by the water tanks all open up and there's additional storage for food or other supplies, mm -hmm. snorkeling gear. Yeah, this is the salon. Alright, so now let's check out the galley. So here, we have the fridge, which is quite spacious, not very full at the moment. Um, up here on the counter, if you open up this hatch here, we have the big freezer. And back behind, these are all cupboards, lots of storage space. Um, there is a double basin sink here as well. And the very fun part about the sink on board Quantum is we have a salt water tap. So you just pump with your foot and you can actually use all the water that you want because you're not taking out of your fresh water reserves. Um, so that is a lovely feature. Uh, moving on over, we have the stove, which of course is on a gimbal, because when you're on a monohull, you lean a lot. So often you'll be cooking and the stove will look like this, but it's actually flat. Um, these are just more cupboards, drawers, and moving on to here, which is a very fun feature as well, we have a pull-out drawer, um, which we usually store things like onions and potatoes in. So that's very handy. And under the floorboards, everything opens up, similar to the one that you just saw in the salon. And up here where the um, engine compartment is, we also have a microwave. And just over here, we have a nav station where you can do more nav work. Um, it's got your electrical panel, um, chart plotter, it's got your radios and your autopilot, so you can control the boat from down here and steer it. Uh, lots of storage underneath and in the seat. Opens up. We've got all the different country flags and fishing gear. And it's uh, got the solar charger it's right there. Yeah, it's great. Next to the nav station, we have one of the four heads that are on board. So this one here is the exciting one because it is an electric head. So it works. You push a button and it's gone. Very, very easy. The electric head is very nice. Um, there's also shower hookups in here, so the shower head is back here behind the door, so you would just grab that, lift it up, use it. Um, shower drainage down below, there's a lot of cupboard space back here, you can store lots of things like toilet paper, keep it safe from the water, because this hatch usually stays open, so if it rains, um, it's totally fine that it gets wet in here. Um, there is access to the pipes um, under here as well. And there is also a second door for the head because it goes into the cabins. So this is accessible for public use, kind of, like if you have guests, they can access, access it without having to go into someone's room. 
Um, and then also, if you're in the cabin, it's kind of a private washroom if you just lock this door here. And this is one of the three main cabins. It's got a double berth with a real nice wall on each side. So when you're rocking and rolling underway, you always have something to lean on. There's lots of air ventilation with the three port lights and one hatch above. So you got lots of airflow. Of course, the ensuite that you just saw has a door here and there's another hatch in there that you can open up. So you get that airflow as well if you want. There's closet storage on both sides and uh, drawers on the other. There's uh, cool little shelves along the, the sides here that you can pile up a lot of stuff and you don't have to worry about it all getting thrown around while underway. And the other cabin that we're staying in is mirrored and completely the same, but we'll show you that as well right now. I want to see the underbed storage. The underbed storage. Show oh. me the storage, okay. baby. Well, there's lots. You just open it up and you just pull out those uh, boards and it's full of storage. And there's also more storage under the carpet. There's additional floorboards that lift up. You can pack them full with all the stuff you want. More clothes. More clothes. <laughs> more shoes. All right, and then the other cabin and mirrored ensuite are just right here. And welcome to the cabin we will be staying in for the next little while. Um, just like the cabin that Justin just showed to you guys, it is like a mirror image. Um, so storage under the bed, under the floors. Um, you crawl in, it's like a pigeonhole style bed. It has an ensuite head right here, which is attached. Um, the only difference with this head and the last one that you saw is this one is a manual flush. Um, yeah, so welcome to our cabin. Okay, so from inside our cabin, this is the ensuite head, very similar to the last one you saw. And with the double doors opening, you can go straight through from here to the alley and the salon. And at the end of the galley, we have the, the master suite. Come in. Hello. Welcome to the master stateroom. It's got a big double bed with access on both sides that you can walk around with lots of side shelves. There's closets and drawers on both sides that match, uh, match each other. Match each other. Um, yeah, it's real big and spacious. Two huge hatches and a bunch of port lights on the side, so you get a ton of airflow in here. And uh, the best part about it, well, maybe not the best part, but it does have a real big head with a separate shower that you have a lot of space in, and it's uh, it's really nice. So here is the separate shower, and once you walk inside, close the door, you have the head, which is also a manual flush, lots of storage back here, mirrors, and port light for airflow. Let's go check out up top, up top. Let's go look up top. Oh hey, this is the swim platform with easy access to the water so it's never hard to climb back on your boat. Uh, there's real cool storage on either side that you can load up full of uh, whatever you want. Right now it's full of water and snorkeling gear. Um, this cockpit's real cool because it has two home stations so when you're leaning one way you can sit on the downside so you don't have to worry about sliding across the boat. Uh, it's got the autopilots and all the controls Two magnetic compasses underneath the seats it opens up to a ton of storage that you can actually access everything underneath it has a diesel heater and uh, the autopilot's in there as well if you ever need to work on that it's uh, almost the full beam of the boat so it's real wide 
you got seating for at least eight people. You can lay down and sleep while you're underway. The table folds out and so you can eat your dinner out here. Lots of airflow. Um, also in the middle, you can open it up load it up with ice and a certain beverage you'd like to drink cold if that's the kind of thing you're into it's quite nice I assure you um, there's also storage underneath the, these seats and behind there's five winches um, all around the cockpit but this one is by far everyone's favorite because it's electric um, you can run the lines off that winch to this one all the lines for sailing are localized right here in the cockpit, so you don't really ever have to leave it if you don't want to, which is really nice for reefing at night or bad weather. You just move and adjust whatever lines you want on the winches up here. And if it gets real bad and you need to go inside and hide, you can just close up the companionway, hide inside, maybe throw down a, a storm sea anchor, and ride out the storm. Yeah, it's a real nice cockpit, real spacious for a 51 foot boat. That's good. So, from up here, um, if you're looking this way, you can see we've got a wind generator, uh, the solar panels up top on the Bimini, and this hatch here actually has crew quarters. Um, right now it's really full of storage, um, so you can't, act, you can't get inside of it. Um, but how it works is you would climb down the stairs, there's two bunks, there's one head. Um, so if you have crew and you're using it as a charter or something like that, um, this is where the crew would live. So pretty much right under up here. Um, and then in this compartment here we have the anchor, um, which has an electric windlass, so it is awesome. And I do believe with all the information and the tour we've just given you, that will now conclude the tour. So we hope that you enjoyed it and welcome aboard Quantum. You'll be seeing a lot of it in the next little while. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. See you next week. And hopefully many weeks to come.